I'm really excited about this series. Everything about Queens puts females front and center, including the fact that the series features that female-led production team that you're both a part of. But you both have this incredible history of working in this space. So I'm wondering, how was working on this series different than your experiences on other ones? Well, I think um, the biggest difference was the amount of women involved. Um <laughs> You know, throughout my career, I've mostly worked with men, especially out in the field on on trips. Um, so this was something that was going to be completely different. Uh, but also the structure right from the start was completely different. You know, the fact that um, Sophie and I came on um, as fellow directors of photography right at the start and were involved in in who was brought in to be mentored a bit you know lo loads of loads of aspects to it very inclusive so um you know when Erin came on she was very involved in 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 the in the series right from the start too um and just being given the opportunity to see the edit process and and feedback on that as well so um yeah they're, 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 i mean so everything about it was different to be honest um the way it was set up and the end result too. Yeah, and then the access to kit, um, them allowing training from different top-notch cinematographers, that was all different. And I had never been on a shoot with another female cinematographer before Queens. So it was, I mean, it was just very different in general. That's incredible. I have chills, like especially hearing that you had access to other cinematographers to train from and stuff like that too. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm. Um, did you have any surprising interactions with any animals during filming? Are, are there any funny stories to share or maybe on the flip side, any close calls, scary moments? Uh, not so much scary, really, because, um, I mean, when you're around dangerous animals, um, you know, especially, I mean, places like Africa, you film from a vehicle, you can't be out on the ground. And we're always working with um, expert guides who know how to be around these animals. Um, so not so much that scary aspect, but, um, quite funny being around, um, hundreds and hundreds of gelada baboons and just, you know, becoming, becoming one virtually. Cause, um, you know, I was out that, you know, in the Simeon mountains in, in uh, Northern Ethiopia and out every day, just walking around with these family groups, the geladas are in small family groups, but then there are loads of those family groups all together in this massive herd of, of geladas. So um, we would just walk around with them every day and I'd be sitting on the ground and there'd be, um, you know, a female just sort of busy plucking bits of a root and grass out of the ground right next to me, you know, virtually digging under my bottom <laughs> and then ever so often giving me the side eye, like, what are you looking at? You know, <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of really amusing. You know, you start sort of having conversations with them, thinking that they can understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'd say for me, it was baby elephants. I had never worked with elephants before. And I didn't know that when they're little, they don't really have much control of their trunks. So when they're brand new, they're kind of flinging their trunk all around. And then they get kind of like, it's similar to a dog getting the zoomies. You know, when they get really hyped up mm -hmm. and just run around, you have this little tiny baby elephant just running in circles, zipping around, getting all excited. So I think <laughs> I didn't expect that from an elephant. And it was just, it was so cute. It was so funny. It was really hard not to laugh while you were filming. I can't even imagine an elephant with zoomies. That already just sounds amazing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, what were your biggest challenges in capturing footage for the series? Um, the, I, the biggest challenge was actually just getting there in the middle of a global pandemic <laughs> with COVID um, that that um, started when the series was starting all its principal photography so um, yeah we we, um, we had some challenges there but um, once we were, we were out in the field um, it was I think uh, a bit nerve-wracking with the expectation you know of the series the ambition of the series um, and also it's very much character-led so trying to tease out the personalities and the the interactions that were going on between the females in the groups we were we were following um that was quite diff that was quite challenging because a lot of this behavior isn't particularly showy 
it's all very interesting, but it can be quite subtle. So um, you really have to put the time in and you have to notice things. You've got to be very aware of what's happening and, and start to learn quite quickly um, about the animal behavior that's going on that you're witnessing. Yeah. COVID was definitely the biggest challenge during this, getting to locations. And then I think, like Justine said, there is a pressure. You don't want this to be the women-led series that isn't that great. So I think we all were had the realization this needed to be top-notch and it needed to be the best it could be. And I think we did that. <laughs>